hello everybody today in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to create a program in Java for checking if a number is circular prime number or not so this is a program that I have created so first of all this is the method in which the number will be checked if it is prime or not so first in the main method I have created uh, I have written the statements I have actually used scanner class to input take input and the num is the allocation place where I am going to keep the number in given by the user at first I'm gonna check then you know, given number is prime or not so if it is prime then then only it will go to the else part and continue with the lateral work if it's not then uh, the beginning only it will not be executed and the statement given the, the given number is not a circular prime number so this is the main part where it's come to play and uh, let me tell you that the in this program the c which is returned if the number is a prime number then the return value will be 2 okay uh, in this method I have converted the given number to a string using this and see and I have stored it in B so and I have taken the length of B in C and also declared another variable of string type D which is equal to B whence I've kept a copy of B in D and these are the other variables that we are gonna use so in this loop the number is gonna circulate alright if it is given 197 then using this loop I can change the number at first from 197 to 971 and then again to 719 and this will be executed twice because the given number is a three digit number so I started the loop from 1 because I have already checked if the number is prime number or not here so I do not need to check it once again it will be wastage of memory and time so from two, oh sorry, from one, all right, and less than the length. So d here d that d, all right. Here the ch the value changes continuously, all right. Substring one comma c. So uh, the substring uh, is used to take out a part of a string. Uh, I have taken out the part of the string one comma the length means if 197 is given 1 is the um, uh, positional value of 9 and C is for 7 and it is taken out and then I have added means I have again um, uh, I need to give take that 1 to the last so here is the 1 so 197 becomes 9 7 and then 1 so this will be the final value of D so and I have again changed D from string to integer then I checked it in this method if it's prime or not if it is prime then the value of this G increases by 1 and if it is not then it will give the message that it will it is not a circular prime number and it will break and then after that after this loop has executed the value of G will increase alright if it is a prime number alright or even if after circulating if even if one number is prime number then the value of G will increase alright so I need to be very tricky in this part if g equals to c minus 1 remember c equals the length of the number 
I have already checked before coming here that the number is a prime number, fast number, and this is a given number. So I do not need C here. I need C minus one. If it's given one ninety seven, then the number of times I need to check the number if it is a prime number or not two is equals to two. So if G equals to equals to two, then only it will give that the given number is a circular prime number. So let us run the program. One hundred ninety-seven. C. You can check it in the internet that one ninety-seven is a circular prime number. Uh, the arbitrary number. It's not a circular prime number. Thank you for watching this video. Comment below how you think about this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on Java tutorials. Thank you.